Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? I'm pretty pumped. I'm going to a con tomorrow. We have a little con uh, locally, and it used to be called Fall Con because it was held at the Polish Falcons, and uh, and it was held in the fall. Now it's called Sticks and Stones. Uh, so actually, if you go to sticks dash and dash and is the word and a uh, dash stones dot net, you'll find the con. Um, so it's I think our third time having the thing. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna play in a game uh, of uh, Astonishing Swordsmen and Sorcerers of Hyperborea. Uh, DN by the guy that wrote the game, so that'd be kind of cool. Um, and some other neat stuff. I think we're playing some Innomine later on in the day, which is a bizarre game. Uh, but maybe I'll talk about that one day. Uh, anyhow, I want to talk today about um, the mechanic and the mathematics of the mechanic of advantage and disadvantage in 5th edition D&D. So this is something I've heard about only recently. You know, it's something that, you know, the concept isn't all that new, but the idea of doing this. And so, um, you know, I'm probably going to misquote them a little bit, but the idea is rather than, you know, adding up all these bonuses and penalties and figuring out what's going on, uh, you decide, all right, you're going to roll at an advantage or a disadvantage. And this is a roll high mechanic, and not surprisingly, it's a d20 mechanic, but you can use this with various dice. You'll just have to figure out the probabilities differently. So you can go to any dice uh, and do that, anydice.com, I believe it is. And, and you can figure out the formulas and how to figure this junk out. Easy mathematics, you know, once you learn the code. Anyhow. I digress. Uh, so, you know, fortunately, somebody done the hard work for me already because I looked around, but I didn't see too much, you know, I didn't see any videos explaining the mathematics or very little actually talking about this. So what happens is they decide, you know, you're going to do this saving throw or, or skill check or attack roll, whatever it is. Um, and you're going to um, say normally you just roll up a straight up D20. Then if you're, if you're kind of, you know, screwed by the situation, Rather than figuring out all these negative modifiers, you're saying, well, you're doing this at a disadvantage. Then you roll two d20s, and you have to take the lowest one. Or if you've got a bunch of advantages um, and things in your favor, then they say, okay, well, you get to roll at advantage. So you roll two d20s, and you take the highest one. So what does this do mathematically? Uh, I guess, you know, at the end of the day, it's a pretty big um, and nonlinear uh, bonus or negative. It's... Uh, nominally about 3.325 uh, in your favor or in your disadvantage, depending, you know, whether you're, you know, rolling, uh, you know, 2d20 and rolling at advantage and taking the highest or rolling uh, 2d20 and taking the lowest and taking a disadvantage. But it varies it, depending on what number you're trying to hit or higher. Um, so uh, in the dead center from 9 to 13, it's a plus or negative 5. It's huge. Um, from 14 to 15 or... Uh, or seven to eight, it's plus or minus four. Um, and then from a 16, if you're trying to hit a 16 or 17, or you have to hit a five or six, I can't imagine why you'd have to hit a five or six. Um, it's plus or a minus three, 18 and 19, or uh, three to four is uh, you know plus or minus two, and then a 20 or two is plus or minus one. So you know it, it narrows out. It's got this big giant bulge in the middle. But for most of the reasonable target numbers, you're gonna be trying to hit there. Um, You've got really like, you know, plus plus or minus like five, three to five. It's a really, really big modifier. Um, another thing to have in your toolbox, I suppose, if you don't want to add up a whole bunch of modifiers and just, you know, declare, all right, you know, you're trying to do something that's relatively difficult. All right, you know, I'm going to have you try to roll this this number. And instead of figuring out all these kind of modifiers, just say, okay, you, know, you roll advantage or disadvantage. But, you know, it's important to know mathematically what you're getting into. Um, so you can, you can actually uh, look this up. I'll probably put a link to, to where I found uh, the actual numbers crunched by somebody else. Um, but, you know, that, that's just kind of, it's important to know, like, what the heck's going on with a modifier like that before you decide, or a mechanic like that before you decide, hey, yeah, I want to use that. Um, so that's it. There were no videos about this, so I figured I'd make one. The end.